Our plant has some amazing natural features. For instance, one of the most fascinating can be found in the Kizilkum Desert. Kizilkum in Turkish language means red sand. This area is located in Central Asia between the rivers Amudarya and Sirdarya, which includes Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan countries. The Kizilkum Desert covers about 300,000 square kilometers. Also in the Kizilkum Desert, besides the red sand, there are mountain ridges, some of which were relatively recently uplifted by tectonic forces. More significantly, there are many unusual depressions with an estimated age of a few tens of thousands of years. On the geological scale of time, this means a relatively recent time frame. What is found on the edges of these depressions are completely unrealistic natural features. These appear to be stone chimneys or hollow tubes that consist of sand fused together into one solid structure by very high temperatures. However, the source of heating which melted the sand is a real puzzle. This is because under the tubes there are loose deposits in the form of unconsolidated sand and rocks which show no sign of magmatic processes from below. Popular opinions indicate that these are trunks of petrified wood. But this cannot be the case because inside of the walls of the trunks there are melted inclusions of small stones. This definitely indicates that a localized melting process must have taken place. What could have melted them? It seems the source of the heat may be a chemical reaction. To explain the details of this reaction, it is first necessary to give some clarification. Burning of hydrocarbons will not produce the required temperature to melt sand. Moreover, the presence of magma is excluded. It turns out that this unique natural location has confounded geological science. However, there is an alternative geological model of the planet called the theory of hydridic earth, which is becoming more popular among geologists. It explains a lot of geological paradoxes and corrects previously unsolvable problems. For this model, the Earth was initially saturated with hydrogen and underwent a progressive encyclical degassing, which led to geological and tectonic processes and changes of geological epochs. Hydrogen is a very reactive gas and it can form compounds with many elements. One of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust is silicon. When it's combined with hydrogen, it creates a gas called silane. Its formula, SiH4, is similar to methane, CH4. The only difference is that instead of carbon in the molecule of silane, there is a silicon atom. To date, no one has been able to find silane in nature. But, at the same time, no one was looking. Silane is a very reactive gas that ignites spontaneously on contact with air. From the conventional point of view, such a gas does not exist in nature. The product of the combustion of silane is silica, SiO2, the same chemical composition as quartz or sand and is not distinguishable from it. The second product of the silane oxidation is water. Therefore, silane in contact with the atmosphere disappears without leaving any fingerprint that allows its detection. However, silane may react not only with air, but with different minerals containing oxygen. For example, in an oxidation reduction reaction of silane with hematite, the mineral which gives red color for sand. Such reactions are exothermic, that means they emit large amounts of heat. This could have been the cause for the melting of rocks. For reference, oxidation of 4 to 5 grams of silane will generate sufficient heat to melt 100 grams of silicate rock. By analyzing the products of such reactions, it is possible to understand the initial reagents. However, the reaction took place a long time ago and there is a risk that most of its products eroded. Fortunately, there are methods to determine the chemical composition of even the smallest inclusions in the rocks. This is something our team is working on now. If our analysis on the samples confirm that silane was the reason for forming the amazing pipes in the Kizilkum desert of Uzbekistan, it will be one more proof for the theory of initially hydrogen-rich Earth. Check for updates on our website in the social networks.